Hello everyone. This is the fifth and last part in instrument series which are being used in obstetrics and gynecological procedure. And uh, the link of previous four videos are given in description box below. You can go through with all these previous instruments. And here in this session, I am briefing on some other important instrument like Maurice retractor, Simpson forcep, needle holder, Cocker's hemostatic forcep, and Pinard fetoscope. So first we'll deal about Maurice retractor. There are many retractors. What do you mean by retractor? Retractor means the instrument that retract the organs. And why we are using the retractors? Because whenever uh, the surgeon perform operation, they want that uh, the nearby organs would not interfere in their operation. So to retract the nearby organ, they retract by using an instrument. So this is the instrument through which the surrounding organs retracted. Here what I am having is the Maurice retractor. Here you can see this is the handle and here in Maurice retractor there is a broad blade which is angled at 90 degree with this handle. So this is mainly used to retract the abdominal wall. Some other retractors are also there that, that retract the bladder and the surrounding tissues. But uh, this is mainly used to retract the abdominal wall from the field area. So this is the Maurice retractor. Next one is the forcep. This is the forcep that is being used to deliver out the fetus during labor. So the forcep uh, which I am having is the Simpson forcep. So Simpson forcep uh, having the following parts like this is the blade. This is the shank, the lock, finger guard and the handle. So in this blade there are large fenestration and these fenestrations allow the fetal head to be uh, grasped properly. So fenestration help in better gripping. The part of blade which comes in relation with the mother's wall is the pelvic curve. This is the pelvic curve. And the part of blade that come in relation with the fetal head is the cephalic curve. Here the fetal head get fixed. So this is the blade, the pelvic curve and the cephalic. The shanks are parallel to each other. And here is the lock and the finger guard to keep our fingers on this handle like this. So whenever uh, the question is being asked that to identify which is the left and right blade. So to identify the blade, you have to keep the blades in upright position like this and place it on table and then take it this one and fix it very nicely. So once this lock gets stuck with each other properly, it means you have placed the blade very appropriately. So here you can see the pelvic curve, the blade which come in relation with the mother's left side, this is the blade which come in relation with the mother's left side is the left blade. This is the left blade. And the blade which come in relation with the mother's right side is the right blade. So thereby you can identify that which one is the left and which one is the right one. And here you can easily lock and uh, handle like this. So in order to deliver out the fetal head which gets stuck in women's pelvic bony area, we use the forcep. There are other forcep as well like Wrigley's forcep, Keelan forcep but what I am having is the Simpson forcep. So this is usually a low forcep and it is being used when the station of head is plus two. There we can uh, identify the left and right blade, place one by one, lock it properly and then will uh, give traction to deliver out the fetal head. The next instrument which I am having is the needle holder. Here you can see needle holder as the name suggests, it mainly holds the needle because whenever we give incision, we need to suture up later on. So to suture the incision site we required this instrument here you can see there is ratchet lock is there and the handles are too big 
comparative to blades blades are narrow they are smaller in comparison to the handle and in both the blades there are serrations present and in middle of the blade groove is also present i like structure and this is the structure that help in to hold the uh, needle so this is the needle holder that holds the c shaped needle and the groove is mainly because of to avoid the straightening of the needle and we'll use this instrument when we are doing stitching next is the cocker's hemostatic forceps it is available in both straight and curved and what i am having is the curved here the ratchet lock is also present catch is there and how we can identify this instrument you can see on blades throughout its length there are serrations present on the on each blade and on one blade there are two teeth and on other blade there is one tooth and uh, here when we clamp they will nicely fit with each other and it gets stuck and when we close this then there is no gap in between the blades so this is the identification so this force is mainly used to rupture the membrane artificially uh, when the membrane doesn't rupture spontaneously then by this tooth end we rupture the membrane thereby the fluid leaks out and uh, it accelerate the uterine contraction and uh, improves the progress of labor so we can do the artificial rupture of membrane and the serration which are present throughout this blade help in clamping the cord so when the fetus comes out and uh, it is being attached with the placenta and when we uh, detach the fetus from the placenta we required cord clamping and cutting so two cordial forceps are required to clamp the cord so they these serrations allows nice occlusion in the blood vessel they clamp properly and occlude the blood vessels and thereby we can cut in between so for the membrane rupture as well as for cord clamping uh, we use this cordial forcep as well as it can be used uh, whenever the tough tissue holding is required like uh, we use ellis tissue forcep so instead of using ellis tissue forcep even we can use this cocker hemostatic forcep but uh, ellis tissue forcep is used more in comparison to this and sometime uh, if we perform hysterectomy or even in ovarian cyst where the pedicles are being clamped by this uh, cockers forcep mainly the use is rupture of membrane and the clamping of the umbilical cord and the last one is the pinard fetoscope so it is a cone shaped instrument mainly made up of aluminum and it has oral end and abdominal end and our ear to be placed on this oral end and abdominal end where we keep this area we keep this part on the women's abdomen so before placing this instrument uh, what is its indication where we use it is mainly used to identify the fetal heart sound we can calculate the fetal heart sound by using this instrument so before we place this instrument on women's abdomen we must know about the lie position and the where the anterior shoulder of the fetus is there because uh, we must keep this instrument on the anterior shoulder itself there only we can easily identify the fetal heart sound and then when we place this instrument like this then we have to keep our ears on this oral side this oral end like this without touching our hand because if we touch our hand it will give false results so to avoid that we should not touch our hand on this instrument so this is mainly used to heard the fetal heart sound so here in this session we have discussed about the modis retractor the simpson forcep needle holder cocker's hemostatic forcep and the pinard fetoscope so in the all part of the instrument series whatever the instrument i have dealt i will give all the names once again so you can go through with this all and the detail of each part is given in description box below so the instruments which i have dealt are the 
सिंस डबल ब्लेडेड पोस्टीरियर वजानल वॉल स्पेक्यूलम कस्को स्पेक्यूलम एंटीरियर वजानल वॉल रिट्रैक्टर यूट्राइन क्यूरेट ओवम फोर्सिप चिरल फोर्सिप स्पंज होल्डिंग फोर्सिप यूट्राइन साउंड वल्सलम हेगार डायलेटर डिस्पोजल अम्लाइकल कॉर्ड क्लैम बैपकॉक एलिस टिश्यू फोर्सिप अम्लाइकल कॉर्ड कटिंग सीजर एपिसिटॉमी सीजर मॉरिस रिट्रैक्टर सिमसन फोर्सिप निडल होल्डर कॉकर हीमोस्टैटिक फोर्सिप एंड दी पिनाड फिटोस्कोप थैंक यू